Hello and welcome to another video by Haste Computer Repair. Today we're taking a look at the Lenovo ThinkPad T560 laptop for use in 2024 and onward. So going over some of the hardware of this laptop, we have an Intel Core i5-6200U CPU, two cores and four threads, and that supports Intel HD Graphics 520. Currently have 16 gigabytes of DDR3 1600 megahertz RAM, by a brand called Tecmio. And there's currently a 240 gigabyte 2.5 inch Kingston A400 solid state drive with Windows 10 Pro installed. There's a Intel dual band wireless AC8260 Wi-Fi card with Bluetooth 4.1. And this particular model has a 15.6 inch HD 1366 by 768 display panels. However, there are some models with a full HD 1920 by 1080 panel or a 3K panel. The keyboard is characteristic of this generation of ThinkPads with the chiclet style design. I don't mind it so much. And it also features a two-tier backlit system. There's the characteristic red track point in the middle. And this touchpad has three buttons, which is kind of nice. I prefer that model. And there's a multi-touch touchpad with a Mylar surface. One thing I usually appreciate with the larger ThinkPads is the inclusion of a numpad. And we have a fingerprint reader right here, a 720p webcam, and on the right side of the laptop, we have one times USB 3.0 always on, one times USB 3.0, a mini display port, there's an air exhaust grill for the CPU fan, and the Kensington lock. And on the left side, we have the input for the power adapter, another USB 3.0, HDMI port, microphone and headphone input, a four in one SD card reader, RJ45 ethernet port, and that would be a slot for the smart card reader, but that did not come with this particular model. On the bottom of the laptop, there's a port for a docking station, and there's a view of the three cell lithium ion battery. And there's some ventilation for the CPU fan for the air intake, and there's the air intake for the CPU fan, and some general passive air ventilation. So before we take a look inside of this laptop, if you have an internal lithium ion battery installed, you can power on and start hitting the enter key until you're greeted with this menu where you can hit F1 and that will take you into the system BIOS. All right, so once here, you can navigate over to config, down to power, and down to disable built-in battery. And now we're ready to open it up. Okay, now we'll remove the external battery. And taking a Phillips head screwdriver, we can start removing the screws on the back panel. Using something like a flat plastic guitar pick, we can score along the palm rest and gently release the plastic clips to get the back panel off. So here's a look at that second three cell lithium ion battery. And just for reference, if you don't go into BIOS to disable it, you can also just unplug it from the motherboard right here. And over here is the spot for the 2.5 inch hard drive or solid state drive. And up here we have the two dim slots for the RAM. As I said before, we have this brand called Tecmio, which features SK Hynix RAM chips. And there's the CPU fan, which you can access for cleaning, leading us to the heatsink for the CPU, where you can just remove these four screws if you wanted to clean it up and apply new thermal paste. Here is the CMOS battery, the M.2 Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card, and a WWAN port, which unfortunately with this model, you cannot install a M.2 SSD. So that's how you access the motherboard for some general upgrades such as SSDs and RAM or the battery. There's also a series of cable connections to the motherboard like the webcam right here and the display panel speakers. And beneath the lithium ion battery here is the touchpad, which is fairly easy to replace. Of course, that would make for a pretty long video if I demonstrated all of that. So feel free to ask me anything in the comments below and I will help you out. So for general use in 2024, this laptop is perfectly fine. You can easily watch high definition videos on YouTube, Netflix, etc. You can browse the net fairly seamlessly. And you can, of course, use Microsoft Office or Office 365 for any kind of work or office activities. The stock speakers are not too bad. Of course, the use of headphones or Bluetooth speaker will provide much better results. So beyond general use as a daily driver laptop, I wanted to see how well DaVinci Resolve performed. 
So I've got a few clips lined up and I'm just gonna see how long it takes to render a short project in 1080p. So just for an example, I just started the render. It says we have 25 minutes remaining. We're sitting at 100% usage of the CPU and about 7.1 gigabytes of RAM. I think this will take a little while, but I'll see it through and we'll check out the results. Okay, so 12 minutes of 1080p footage rendered in 25 minutes and eight seconds. If you're just casual, that's not terrible, but if you do time sensitive work, maybe something beefier would be better. But this is one big experiment for the T560 and it passed that test. And it looks like the batteries are really holding up too. I've got my Steam library loaded up onto this Kingston NVMe solid state drive that I can connect via USB 3.0. So I think I'll test out Tomb Raider 2013 and I have Epic Games Launcher installed onto the laptop where I'll test out Super Meat Boy and, and another lower end title called Cursed to Golf. So there's lots of life left in this Lenovo ThinkPad T560 laptop, and you can definitely use it in 2024 and moving forward. I had a pretty good time putting this video together and testing out another great ThinkPad. I hope you learned something and hopefully this also helps you decide if something like T560 is a good choice for you. As always, thanks a lot for watching and leave a comment below if you're using a T560 in 2024. I'll see you in the next ThinkPad review.